Welcome to the podcast. You mix shit up with scraps, you MacGyver it, right? Like she's like, do you actually have sex? Like, yeah, I did. And also he like walks like, what's up, brother? But yeah, what? Give me a free bottle. Everybody, welcome to the You Gotta Eat That Crust podcast. I'm your host with the most on the ones and twos, Ryan Wilson, and with me tonight, returning champ, fucking Doctor Chavis McKnife Cuddy. That's right. I'll cut you. I'm here. <laughs> I'm gonna cut your ears. Hey, Rogers. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Good to be here. Good to have you, Seamus. Good to have Thanks. you. Also with us tonight. The sweatpants overlord follically challenged himself. He has a couple pairs of regular pants with buttons now. Greg Hoey. Greg, how you doing? I'm fresh off pants on my last gig Friday night. Woo! Sweat right through him. It looks like I peed my pants. Now he's the sweatpants part-time lord. Yep, I am. I'm only a sw- I'm more of an athletic shorts overlord now with compression socks. Oh, that's an even better look. <laughs> yeah. Nice. nice. It, look, it essentially looks like jog pants because I got like the black sh- athletic shorts with the black compression socks pulled up to my knees, so it looks like they're connected. You're like the guy that used to drive me crazy at the gym who'd come in in the, the shorts and the fucking long ass socks. Hell yeah, yeah! And he'd wear a beanie. And like <laughs> I'm sweating watching this guy. What's the matter with you? Yeah. Also, let me just say that I thought I was out of snacks, and I just, like, under my computer, I found one pack of the Frutella soft gummies that I ordered from Amazon that are fucking fire. What's Frutella? Is that, like, a play on Nutella, or is it part of No, Nutella? it's like, no, I don't think it's a play on Nutella. It's just dank-ass gummies. Well, dank-ass gummies. I didn't think you ever ran out of snacks. I, I, I have been them. running out of snacks. Well, this new work thing has got me... Usually, like when I'm at my You're dispensary. You're hungrier now, huh? Well, yeah, totally. When I'm at my dispensary, like when I go out to grab uh, food at Hannaford, and if I don't have any snacks, I can just pick up a couple snacks there. But now I only work at the dispensary Wednesday and Friday, and that's this is my first week working Wednesday and Friday because I finally get some hours back because they were fucking with me. You need to start stocking up better. They were getting they were getting ready to fucking hand me the keys to the castle, and I'm like, yeah, maybe you can work one or two days. Then they asked me to work in the grow, and I was like, fuck that! I shut that shit down. There you go. And now you're just somebody that used to love. Yep. <laughs> go TA. Good song. Yeah, one hit wonder. It is a one Speaking hit wonder. Speaking of one hit wonders, boys, yeah. Seamus, oh. why don't you tell us what tonight's show is about? Well, I don't understand the correlation, but um, I think most of, most of us have experienced these feelings. Maybe you felt sadness, yeah. anger, frustration, yeah. sure. or disbelief. Yeah, totally. Possibly some of you out there don't even watch TV at all and won't even know what we're talking about in this episode. Losers. If that's the case, you're probably not listening to our show anyways. <laughs> but for those of you that are listening, we're talking about some of our favorite or most memorable TV shows that got canceled or pulled off the air. Maybe some of them, some would say they had run their course. Some of them. Mostly we're discussing shows that were still in their prime or just getting started when the executives pulled the plug. Rest I'm, emotional. Those shows. I'm emotional right now. A fucking with that one just that just got the plug pulled on it. And I'm gonna bring it up right now. Oh. I'm talking about fucking raised by wolves. Yeah, man. That uh, sucks. I saw that shit. Um, still, still hope. Still there hope. is still hope. I've been reading so many articles and seeing so many things on uh, social media where people are trying to like save the show. And I fucking yeah, dude, dude that show's awesome. Got a lot of good ratings and a lot of great cast. I think isn't Ridley Scott involved in it? Dude, Ridley Scott, it's his show. Yeah. You fucking yeah. I mean, Ryan, did you watch it? Uh, I watched like half of the first season. Oh, man. And I enjoyed what I saw. Second season is fucking awesome. Yeah, dude, it's such a badass show. Two main androids are like amazing actors. I don't know if I haven't seen them anywhere else or that I recall, but they deserve another role if they don't get any further on this one. They're great acting. Yeah, they're great, dude. The whole story is awesome. It's just, I don't know, it's a super fucking cool sci fi show. If you haven't seen it, it's on HBO Max. Raised by Wolves, check it out. It's weird as fuck, but it's 
I don't know. I think two it's awesome. seasons. It's Guess what? It's coming intriguing. back, baby. It's coming I, back. I, I know think, it is. I have a feeling it's it might get a new home. I do too. I, I'm 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 pretty excited about it. I think it's I think it's coming back. Well, we'll see. We'll see. It fucking better be. Uh, I'm gonna drop my most obvious first one, and uh, it's Firefly. Ooh, that was yeah. my first one. Another sci-fly. Well, that's the number one on the list of of yeah. all lists. Aired from September 20th to December 20th, 2002. It's 2001, I thought. You think I'm lying? I don't. I just I think do. you're wrong. Oh. No, I don't know. It doesn't Aren't matter. you, Nathan Phillips? one in. season. Oh. <laughs> I love Nathan Fillin or Fallon or whatever. Nathan Fillion. Fillion, Fillion yeah. us in. Yeah. yeah. Nathan Fillion's fucking awesome. He's got that perfect amount of snark to pull yeah. off the cocky captain role. He should have been Nathan man. Drake, dude. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, seriously. I think he, he aged not... out of it, though. Yeah. Right. Probably. I think he made an independent well, video you... of him as Nathan Drake. What do you mean? <laughs> and, and how And well, how does Mark Wahlberg well, a Mark Scully, Wahlberg, man? Yeah, yeah, right? Scully was, <laughs> yeah, right? Scully was... Yeah, right? He was like the opposite. He was too young and fucking, yeah. But it, this had a huge underground following, and it's a shame. But it, it had enough of a following to gain, you know, a movie. Well, Real yeah, quick. one season though. Come on, it was so yeah. such a good show, man. Real Real quick. Been a lot of good content. It would have been funny if they did the Uncharted movie if Nathan Fillion did get it, and then they cast fucking Mark Wahlberg as Sully, <laughs> so like he was older than fucking Sully. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looked almost the same. Not yeah, almost the same. But... I know, but I'm just saying, like in you know, in theory, yeah. Yeah, so we only got one season of this amazing show and followed by just a devastating movie, Serenity. You didn't like the movie? Oh, it was good, but man, it was fucking... They killed Alan Tudyk. Sorry for the spoilers. <laughs> Wait, is that, the guy years in, is that the guy who's in fucking Don't Look Up? I don't know who you're talking about. Alan Tudyk is like, he does the voice of uh, the dope robot in uh, Rogue One. He's Wash in uh, Fire. Oh, Fly. yeah, dude. He's the fucking pirate. Fucking Pirate Steve in fucking Old School. Yeah, dude. I fucking yeah. love that guy. Yes, awesome. yes. He does all Har! kinds of shit. He does all kinds of <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, I love the Pirate Steve. Yeah, that guy, yeah that, guy, that guy is really funny. Yeah, he was dope. He was, my, he was like my favorite character in the show. And then the, the movie just kind of <laughs> broke my heart, yo. Yeah, yeah. He was married to uh, the, like the, the, the first mate or whatever. Was yeah. she the first man, I think? Yep. <clears throat> I've never seen one episode of Firefly, but I did see the movie, Serenity. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't, well, I was <laughs> working at Blockbuster sense. at the time. I didn't know. I thought <laughs> Serenity was like a fucking standalone movie, dude. I didn't know anything about fucking Firefly. That's the reason it got canceled, son. <laughs> Who are all these characters that people must already be invested in? <laughs> yeah, what's happening? I probably wasn't even paying attention. It was like, movie, action, explosions. I like it. <laughs> Uh, all right, Seamus, why don't you hit us with your canceled show woes? Uh, well, I remember as a kid, I was really into the X-Men animated series. Hell yeah, dude. 1992. It had five seasons, which is a good run, yep. but I felt like it could have gone on for another five. Uh, well, as you may or may not know, it is. It's, it's, coming, right? it's, it's, it's coming back. Really? I think even all the original voice cast is in it and shit. That's sweet. Yeah. I just want to hear Wolverine say, Morph. 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 (laughs) Just one more time. Morph. Yeah, I was glued to my fucking TV for that show, man. I love that show. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it'd probably be sweet. The animation will obviously be better. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I remember the Dark Phoenix saga in that shit, man. Woo! Oh, yeah. She was pretty intense for like a little you know, kid show. Right. But uh, yeah, big ups. X-Men. Greg, do you watch X-Men at all? Uh, yes, I did. Nice. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, bro. Ah, great, bro. great, great. Mm-hmm. All right, Greg. Well, uh, that brings us back to you. What do well, you want to talk about? I didn't watch the show when it was on air, um, but uh, I want to talk about Freaks and Geeks. A show way ahead of its time, in my opinion. Fucking star-studded cla- uh, cast. Still haven't really seen it. Oh, you should totally watch it. It stands up, dude. Martin Martin Starr is fucking awesome, dude. He plays the fucking ultimate geek. He's great. Franco, even though he's been canceled. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so if they did a reboot of Freaks and Geeks, we wouldn't have any fucking you know Franco. But dude, it's got Jason Segel, fucking Seth Rogen. Like, dude, it's it's fucking star studded. It's awesome. It's yeah. It, it was I like because I was looking at lists. Yeah, it was high up there on like most people's lists. Yeah, it's like it's like number two. And then like I'm gonna just piggyback that real quick with Undeclared, which is from also from Judd Apatow and has a lot of the same fucking cast. And in my opinion, I think Undeclared is better. Like Undeclared is fucking hilarious. Like some of the best cameos ever from like Will Ferrell to fucking like Adam Sandler's crew where Adam Sandler kind of took the back seat and like that fucking guy with a weird voice. Like, and he kind of like, you know, I think I saw some of that, maybe a season or something. How many it's seasons like, was that? It only went one. Both of them only went one. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's got the girl from Freddy vs. Jason, who I fucking love. <laughs> and you guys think James Franco getting canceled ruined Dave Franco's career? <laughs> I think it did. <laughs> I know who Dave Franco like, is. Like, you know who I, Dave Franco is? What am I supposed to do now? Oh, I know who Dave Franco is. <laughs> I, I, I mean, he was all right. I didn't really. He was fucking Greg in fucking uh, Super Bad, and he's like, he's like, remember when you peed your pants in sixth grade, yeah. Greg? Yeah, he's, nobody I forgets. Played, I think he's played a bully a couple times. Well, he wasn't. He was the guy getting bullied in that movie, but uh, he's the drug. Yeah, he was the guy they said peed his pants. He's like, it was like seventh grade. <laughs> Nobody forgets. Um, he was also the bad guy in fucking Twenty One Jump Street. That's unfortunate. If, you know, just your brother does something wrong, and it's called cross cancellation, Seamus. <laughs> I think Frank. I think James Frank. I mean, uh, Dave Franco is just as funny as his brother. Like he's he's. I mean, essentially the same person. Well, Dave Franco is who they got when they couldn't afford James. <laughs> well, he was in that magician movie that was fucking great. Oh, that was a dope movie. The, cir- the sequel I heard was pretty shitty, but the first one was awesome. Yeah, well, now you see me. This isn't an episode about sequels, Greg. It's about Jesse Eisenberg. Eisenberg. Which brings me into my second show. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, it was Santa Clarita Diet. Ooh, never seen it. February 3rd, 2017. March 29, 2019, starring uh, Drew Barrymore and Timothy Oliphant. My boy. Dude, that's, that guy is that guy's funny as shit, man. Yeah, like, Timothy he's, he's, the he's man, dope dude. as hell and justified, but he's got some real comedic chops, man. Like, uh, and yeah, listen to him on like Conan O'Brien and shit, and he's fucking brilliant. Yeah, he's pretty good in everything he does. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Dude, he was, in, he was in Curb this year. Yeah. <laughs> he was in Curb. He was great in uh, fucking... One of the first movies I saw him in was... Uh, uh, the girl next door, and he was fucking hilarious in that. At his yeah. in a small role, yeah. yeah he, Tim the Elephant's the man. Another girl that disappeared. What was her name? Oh, she's she's dating hockey players now. <laughs> oh, that's uh oh yeah, I love I her. I know too. she's, she's done from, acting. She's from old school. Yeah, she's still acting. She was in like fucking oh, twenty four yeah, and yeah. shit. If you start um, dating a drum, if you start dating the the hockey player, you're pretty much done acting. She is done. If she's in acting, it's fucking C movies or C. Some shows that we it's don't like, watch. It's like hooking up with a bass player. <laughs> What's wrong with that? You've hit rock bottom at oh, that point. I would, I would totally hook up with Victor Wooten any day. Yeah, and those, Darcy. I bet he'd finger, he finger bang you, right? Oh, man, totally. <laughs> he slap. Head to the prostate. <laughs> Head to the prostate. You'll get that later. You'll get that later. Yeah, fantastic. All right, Seamus, hit me with your next pick. Oh, uh, I like Deadwood in 2004. Only had three uh, seasons. Timothy Olyphant fan again. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, son. And I forget the, the the villain's name, but he's a really good actor, too. Oh, uh, that guy's in a bunch of shit. He is, is that he the is guy who's in Game of Thrones? The, the fucking guy with the mustache there? I don't know. Black hair? He's in Game of Thrones. He does have black hair. Maybe he was. I don't know. Yeah, he was. He's the guy who fucking. Talk about Al Swearingen, right? He's the guy yeah. who took care of fucking um, the Hound when, like, the Hound was like we thought the Hound was dead, and then he like came back and he was working for that dude on that dude's farm. Yeah, that guy's in. Yeah, yeah, that is him. He's yeah. that guy's in the tundra. Oh, yeah, his character yeah, was there. The, Al Al the father on uh, fucking um, the hilarious uh, Lonely Island movie there, stuntman or the fucking stunt stunt movie there, uh, Hot Rod. Hot yep. Rod, yeah, Count yeah, it. yeah. I like him. He's a really good actor. Uh, dude, I liked I, the show. It only lasted three seasons. Yeah, they made a movie of it though. Then they did. They yeah, they finished it up a with a movie. It came out in the right. past couple of years. Yeah, um, I don't know. That, if I saw that. Al Swearingen, that guy took cussing to a whole new level. Yeah, oh, dude, it was such. It was art to watch that guy cuss. It was. So he's the villain in the show. Yeah, yeah. kind of. Okay. Yeah, all right. I think it was a, a kind of thing. Like I, I haven't seen it. Well, um, he uh, kind of lived with them all, but he was. You know, he's kind of like. Um, 
kingpin, you know, like he's he's running the show. It's like Bill the Butcher from Gangs in New York. Okay, yeah, all right, that's a good, that's a good. Uh, yeah, like he's legal, like nobody has anything on him technically, but you know, he's a gangster. I remember an episode where he, that Al swear to get dysentery. It wasn't dysentery; it's was gonorrhea, <laughs> and they had to take this like I don't know, maybe. 14 inch steel rod and just fucking shove it up the head of his cock. Oh my oh, goodness. God. Yeah, it was fucking oh, horrifying. Just kill to me. Watch. <laughs> horrifying. And he was like, so much! <laughs> Cunt! Fuck! Well, thankfully, we didn't have to really watch that. <laughs> no, no, it was that. It was that. Yeah, this was that. I'm going to start the show now. <laughs> All right, Greg. Well, uh, why don't you tell us your next pick, my friend? All right, well. It this I'll just piggyback on that. It didn't get canceled. It just kind of ran its course, but it's coming back. Does that count? Sure. Justified. Well, justified, how many baby. Was justified? It's back. Uh, five. I wonder why it got canceled. Did they just end it or lost? Yeah, uh, yeah just... it, it kind of it was kind of like running its course. It was kind of like the wheels were spinning. I, I definitely thought it was. Still good, but like the seasons weren't as good as the earlier ones. It's coming back for a, a like a standalone, like yeah, well, something something about like justice in Florida or some shit like that. Yeah. Well, that's kind of like MacGyver for me, man. That was like What's he doing probably one thing? of my favorite shows when I was growing up as a kid. And it came back and it was terrible. Nineteen eighty five. It's seven seasons, and the genius with the golden the golden mullet, you know. MacGyver became like a household term. I mean, you fix shit up with scraps, you MacGyvered it, right? Yeah. yeah. And it ran in seven seasons, so it probably doesn't really qualify on this list. But it was still sad for me to see it go. I mean, it was came back too. Out. And it came back and it wasn't shit. It was, yeah, I don't know, tra- I didn't see trash. it. I guess I can't say that. I never watched it. Well, it did, it did get trashed. Like, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that got canceled. <laughs> so. <laughs> The new MacGyver well, got canceled. Well, you know, luckily for MacGyver coming back again, though, that is also going to give us the MacGruber, MacGruber. TV show. <laughs> oh, yeah, dog. I heard that was fucking awesome. I need to, I need yeah, to get on that. That's another thing. There's just too much to watch. There is too much to watch. I feel like I'm all caught up on a lot of stuff. I feel good yeah, about it. Yeah, well, I've been preaching Barry to everybody. Hey, for oh, I just right. got back on it. I fucking literally started. I've watched the first three episodes yeah. so i watched it back with amanda like fucking and yeah. we watched like the first couple episodes and we were into it but we just never fucking got into it so I i've been meaning Hank. i've been meaning to fucking to get down to, with fucking so Barry. good man. i started uh, it again so the that's next, great this last season i mean i love awesome. bill Hader, and i'm, yeah, a, few, I'm right. a few episodes behind on this latest season i i hear that there i hear there's some of the best ones yet so far. oh yeah man i love hank hank's like hank's one of my favorite <laughs> oh, characters. Awesome, dude. <laughs> i don't think i've met hank unless i've met him the first season you might have met him. He didn't really have a. If you only watched a few episodes, he probably had a minor role. He's not yeah. the Ru- he's not that Russian dude. He's right? the bald one. <laughs> he's the bald works. Russian. <laughs> that guy's yeah, okay. hilarious. Yeah, yeah, he is hilarious. Yeah, that guy's fucking awesome. All right, well, I'm going to talk about. Uh, all right, so this show's been through a lot of iterations, but it recently got canceled again, and that was the Mystery Science Theater 3000 reboot on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> when April 14th, 2017, and November 22nd, 2018. So it got a season? Did it even get a full it got, season? It got two seasons, but the cast was so good. They had, like, fucking uh, Hampton Yout, Baron Vaughn, Jonah Ray, Patton Oswalt, Felicia Day, Joel Hodgston. I mean, How could it you just, have that many people? Because there was other there was side characters and fucking shit like that. Or did they all, were they all in every episode, or was it No, like... they all weren't in every episode, okay, but, well, you know, was... you got four, you got... You know, you got four actors with just the, you know, the three puppets, the robots. And- it's kind of like whose line is it anyway, where they had like their their guys, but what they weren't all on every episode. Like, yeah, gotcha. I never saw the re- the reboot on that, but I liked uh, the old one. Yeah, it was that was one of my favorite shows growing up, and it came back, and it was just as funny as uh, you know, it ever was when I was kids. So. Are we talking about whose line is it anyway? Or are we? Talking no, about we're talking about here. fucking Mystery okay. Science Theater yeah, 3000. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Did that come back too? Who's on as anyway? No, I don't think it, it ever did, went it away. Yeah, that was a great show though too. Yeah, that Ryan Stiles, Styles. Like Styles. Gary, that show. <laughs> <laughs> they always make fun of Ryan Stiles on fucking last podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ryan, I think Ryan Styles is hilarious. He's yeah, great. great, man. I'm gonna bring back. I mentioned the Kingpin. I loved Daredevil on Netflix, man. Yeah, 
2015 had three seasons and I I thought the choreography was great like the fight scenes were amazing oh yeah man that was that was obviously my jam I fucking and I when, Pun- when Punisher showed up on the second season too I was even more yeah, amped okay so I didn't I didn't make the second season then I only made the first season ah, God, but I like I, I liked it it was just so much going on three seasons man it got better every season yeah, I thought yeah. got better yeah I remember and, you guys pushing that it, yeah. you were pushing it and I love the the Punisher as well. I thought that was fantastic. Yeah, that guy's good. I love John Burton. That, that guy's, guy's the, the fucking shit. shit, dude. Yeah, dude. We own the city was fucking yeah. awesome. Oh, yeah, I mean, it, it was highly disturbing, but it was awesome. <laughs> Crooked cops. Yeah, I've seen but... Copland. I've seen it. We own the city. Time. Well, they were they were saying his performance in that show is like pretty much the performance of the year by any actor so far. So yeah, he's fucking. Awesome. Yeah. Yes, fucking. Great, yeah, he's dude. he's awesome. But I mean, he's he's. He kind of plays the same character and everything. He does. That's, that's what my buddy said too. I, I just love when he gets out of the police car and he fucking he has his new bag. He's like slapping his arm. He's like, getting all fucking pumped up and shit. Yeah, like, oh, everybody did great in that show. I thought fucking the guy who played Hersel was fucking great and ah. yeah, a lot of fucking assholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Greg Proops, go ahead. I never watched this show, but I'm talking about motherfucking Lawless. 1997, starring Brian the Boz Bosworth, <laughs> fucking linebacker for a film from the. I think I forgot what he, who he played for. He was a disappointment in the NFL. Like he just. You're he bringing up a show you never. Wait, wasn't that a movie? No, I'm yeah, dude. I'm bringing up the show because it's fucking Brian Bosworth. He was a special forces OP turned PI, and his name was John. Can you guess his last name? Brown. The show's oh. called Lawless. Lawless. His name is John Lawless. <laughs> it got canceled after one episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. Too soon, man. Too soon. Uh, no, it's just Brian Boss was supposed to be a huge deal. Like, and he was a huge bust in the NFL. And then, like, he was like a fucking mullet wearing, like, fucking cross in the earring, for, you know, cross earring. Well, he shit. wasn't. He wasn't a near genius like MacGyver, though. No, he could have played MacGyver though, like a dumb MacGyver. Yeah, but what, what room does dumb anybody guy. have for a dumb MacGyver? That's MacGruber, man. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Fuck. Edit that. Edit that. Cut that out. Cut that out. It's got to happen. All right, my next, uh, my next pick is uh, Crashing Pete Holmes on HBO. Oh, dude, I totally forgot about that. February 19th, 2017 to March 10th, 2019. Starring the one and only Pete Holmes. Yeah, and thank you for that. You actually introduced me to that show, which kind of introduced me to like the last podcast in a way, because that's fucking where Zembrowski was, where I first saw yeah. Zembrowski. Fucking show was awesome, dude. I love that show. Yeah. Well, Zembrowski was in that fucking uh, Wall Street, Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't fucking know who he was. Yeah, you know? I didn't know he, who he was when Wolf he had of like Wall Street. A, yeah, he had like a yeah. speaking role in this, and he was pretty funny. Like He had like yeah. an actual episode where like they dedicated to him, and it was yeah. one of the funnier episodes. But just all the guest spots, dude, from like Sarah Silverman to like Bill Burr. Oh, yeah, like, dude, dude. Like a fucking T.J. Miller. Like There was so many <laughs> great fucking guests on that show. That joke he did with um, when he's talking to – Sarah Silverman, and she's like, you know, you got to brush your teeth. Death creeps in from the gums. And he's like, oh, I always kind of thought that was like a, a scare tactic from from Big uh, fuck, Big Dental. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, ah, oh, that's pretty good. I, butch- I butchered that. Fuck. Uh, you know, the standout character in that show for me was Leaf. Oh, bro, dude, Leaf is the man. <laughs> yeah, dude, Leaf, Leaf was so, hey, brother. <laughs> Hey, brother. Like, yeah, when they became friends. Yeah, dude, Leaf was awesome. Uh, Leaf was great. show up at the comedy show. like, why are you here? Yeah. <laughs> like, did you just have sex? <laughs> yeah, and like, uh, she's like, she's like, did you actually have sex? He's like, yeah, I did. And all of a sudden, he like walks out. He's like, what's up, brother? <laughs> yeah, I think I only watched like an episode or two. Oh, uh, dude, uh, that show's fucking gold, dude. I don't know, Pete Holmes. So something about Pete Holmes. He's like an innocent... You know, innocent but not innocent. Like, his innocence is what makes him funny, I think, I guess, even though he's not innocent. I don't know. He's got the whole Christian fucking comedy thing going, though, even though he kind of rallies against it now. But I don't know. He's he's a pretty good fucking comedian. I really dig him. Same. I don't know about his new show. That should get canceled. <laughs> I watch a couple episodes and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> what are you doing, Pete, you fucking sellout? <laughs> we loved you, Pete. Yeah, he's that's his uh, fucking attempt at fucking two and a half guys. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's Ice Cube now. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, dude. Are we there yet? Part three with Pete Holmes. Ooh. All right, Seamus, what's your next pick? Uh, I'm going back to 1987. I want to talk about DuckTales. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> like, this show had four seasons, which is, you know, decent, but it, for, to me, like, it felt like this, I felt like this show was on for, like, 10 years. Me too. But it was still too soon. Like, I loved the show when I was younger and should have kept going. Dude, I would go to school. Quack. I would go to school and watch fucking DuckTales and Kids in the Hall. It was like DuckTales is on at like 2, Kids in the Hall is on at like 2.30 <laughs> or 3. Like, fucking clockwork, baby. Like, yeah. come on. I think, I think physics also taught us that you can't swim in piles of gold. You'll hurt well, yourself if you dive in there. You'll be, yeah, you'll be paralyzed. <laughs> Well, I, th- I would have tried had I had a pile of gold. <laughs> uh, Fucking led to Darkwing Duck as, as well. Uh, eh, it was all right. I'm not saying, I'm just saying it like led to Darkwing Duck. And Darkwing Duck was good. Don't get me wrong, but it, was, it wasn't DuckTales. No, dude, DuckTales was the shit, dude. DuckTales is, is DuckTales and like Chippendales Rescue Rangers was my shit. All right. Do either one of you boys have anything else you'd like to talk about? Uh, let's talk about the OA. Oh, I watched that. the OA. Like, it, just when it got me, like, super intrigued, like, that was a very, like, interesting show. It really and, was. And then it got canceled. Like, I was totally, like, fascinated with it. Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. There was, like, a huge campaign afterwards. They were putting up billboards and shit and fucking, uh, but. Oh, yeah, I'm, thinking that, of the, I'm thinking of the OC. I'm like, the OC, you fucking <laughs> losers. What the fuck is the OA? It was about this girl. Who's Shut like, up. You watch 90210 and you're going to fucking bang on the OC. Give me a break. I'm not banging on the AOC. I thought you guys were talking about it. You're just banging on it. I know. I was trying to save myself. <laughs> oh, nice. It's kind of fucked up to explain. Jason, but it's about, it's about this girl who is kidnapped for like seven days, and she was blind, and she comes back, and she can see again. But she says her name is OA, the original angel, and like, yeah, you know, it's got a bunch of psychic shit in it, and all kinds of, you know. Hey, really it. hard to explain, but uh, it was really intriguing. It is like it was, it was like some guy that would. There was she wasn't the only one. There was like a bunch of people that kidnapped for like years, weren't they? Like they were like subjected. Yeah, they were in this like glass house, all these yeah. glassed off rooms and shit. It was very hard to to to, to describe. It. it was a very fascinating show, and I was sad to see it go because I was like really intrigued. Same. Rest in peace, the OA. All right, P. I got one more I'm talking about as well. I want to talk about um, my so-called band. 30 Seconds to Mars. What are you talking about? Um, it was a joke. It's my so-called life. It got canceled. I just wanted oh. to make the 30 Seconds to Mars joke because Jared Leto was That was only one sh- season, right? Show. I felt like I watched that for a few years. <laughs> uh does Jeez. feel like it was on for decades. Yeah. Is that how where Jared – uh, Claire, no, Claire Danes, is that her first? That's how she got started. I'm pretty sure that's both their first. Uh, yeah, James. both of them are. Right. So I was going to say him too, but I wasn't sure. He's so dreamy. He's going to he go dreamy. on to make amazing, amazing Marvel movies. I heard that movie Morbius was great. And I do want to see that. I do want to see it too, but they put it back in the theater and it like tanked again. <laughs> it's like tanked twice in the theater. I mean, then that. there's the obvious one, Arrested Development. Yep, Arrested Development. You know, it came out in 2003 and what, it had three seasons. And got canceled, and then came yeah. back like eight years later. The Netflix revival wasn't great, but it wasn't <laughs> like it wasn't the same. Well, they couldn't get everybody on the same page, so they were all like recording like separate episodes. Like they couldn't like not not all the cast was there at the same time, so that's why yeah. all the episodes are kind of like mashed up and like kind of. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I, I honestly I don't even think I ever just, fucking finished it. Just like yeah, MacGyver, I, I mean, how many reboots are actually success, successful? Like Full House, I mean they. Like, we all watched that when we were younger. Tried watching Fuller House, and I just couldn't get into it. It wasn't the same. Either. I don't know if just the times have changed or what. But. Well, they tried. Yeah, you, you knew Jesse and the Rippers had broken up. It's no, like, what's the point? It's all the counts, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Say, that's the same deal with, um, like, Family Guy got canceled. South Park got canceled. Wait, they're not canceled. They're yeah, they got canceled and came back. Oh. Uh. Family Guy got canceled like two seasons in or like one season in because of the content. Yeah, but Same. it wasn't because of, yeah, I was going to say it wasn't because yeah, well, it, it still didn't got have canceled, interest. It was yeah, because yeah. it was gritty for yeah. cable. 
Yeah, yeah the and, strength and, the strength of the DVD sales is what brought that show back. Yeah, right. totally, totally. And like same with like Arrested Development. Arrested Development had like a cult following. Like that show was way ahead of its time. Yeah. The first three seasons of that show are fucking fire, dude. You can oh, you can absolutely. you can watch all those shows back and catch like a new joke like every time. I always go back to that part where it fucking shows Tobias and he's working at Swallows and it just says Tobias Swallows. <laughs> just like little subtle jokes like that, dude. Tobias the Never Nude. Yeah. Oh, dude. Never Nudes, man. I love Never Nudes. Join the Blue Man group. <laughs> He's a Never Nude. Yeah, they, they had uh, Zach Braff was like the, the Girls Gone Wild guy, and they found out he was a Never Nude, too. Well, they had the uh, Martin Short as the attorney that needed to be carried around everywhere. Oh, dude. I, <laughs> when he's sitting on the balcony, and he's like, he's like you sure you're going to be all set like that, Uncle Jack? And he's like, he's like, that's okay. Thunder's here behind me. He's like, actually, you're all alone. He's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> like it was, like that show and, who, was and who played the patriarch, man? That guy was great too. Oh, that's fucking R.I.P. Baby. A twin. Oh, um, I'm thinking of. I'm sorry. I, th- I was thinking of uh, the guy who played the. Um, no, I'm talking about the father of the family. Yeah, yeah, that's um, Jeff. Oh, he's Jeffrey can- Tambor. He's, he's canceled. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's canceled. Awesome. He's canceled. Well, uh, Stand up comedy is going to be canceled soon. So. Well, I mean, it's called. He's. It's not about what he's saying. It's about what he's doing. Oh, what did he do? He's groping and touching people. Wow. Like, hopefully not children. Mm-mm. I think yeah, it's, more, I think it's more of like a Louis C.K. kind of fucking vibe kind of feel where he's just being kind of like forward to girls and just being yeah. disgusting. And like, they basically fucking, he was on a show where they basically would not do the show with him. That just happened to somebody else, too. It happened to fucking Jeff Garland from fucking Curb. Like on, on the fucking, oh, that was uh, the Goldbergs. The Goldbergs. They like CGI to man. Oh, it looks like odd. It looks, it so looks horrible. <laughs> like and were, I don't even watch the Goldbergs, but I saw the articles on that. But like, yeah, I like, watched. I watched the first like maybe three or four seasons. It's a good show, man. I mean, I hope Jeff doesn't no, get canceled. Not. But I mean, if he if he does, he should. I guess I don't know. He was responsible for bringing Rick Moranis back as Darth Helmet. Fuck oh, yeah! He oh. showed up as Darth Helmet in an episode, and he handed him the script to Spaceballs too, and said, "You must make this movie." <laughs> Pretty dope. Can't Pretty make dope. it without Mel Brooks. Spaceballs or Star still Wars? Still alive. Ninety six years old, baby. Spaceballs or Star Wars? You can yeah. only have one. It's a tough one, man. It's fucking Spaceballs. Can you have day. one without the other? Oh, I don't think you so. Can't, yeah, I mean, you got to go Star Wars. There's just more content, except for, excluding all the new Disney shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mandalorian's phenomenal. So. I like the Mandalorian, but it, it is it is layered with cheese. Season one was, and, I'm, and I am liking season two, man. I'm I so am, bad. Yeah, see, I, I don't, I don't, I just, I liked it, but it, there is, it is layered with cheese, and like oh. I said, like oh, I like Obi Wan, but Obi Wan is fucking super. Let's just too. write a story that isn't cohesive and has plot hole after plot hole, and it doesn't matter because we're just keep going. And I'm about to drop some fucking knowledge on the both of you right now. The best Star Wars movie ever made is called Rogue One. Rogue One. Boom. Yeah, that's, that's the consensus, right? Yeah. Hmm. Obviously, everybody who saw that's like, oh, fuck. Fuck. It's weird saying? because it had the least amount of lightsabers and force trickery. Yeah. But it's just a it good was story, my favorite. The yeah, story it was, was awesome. It was awesome. The cast was great. Characters are great. Alan Tudyk, baby. I mean, that. Oh, yeah. That scene at the end, though, where Vader yeah. came in was awesome, and that and and that was a lot of what propelled it to be fucking like that was an awesome fucking scene. So I mean, like yeah. you know, Star Wars, obviously, yeah. but just the fact that they were all like sacrificing themselves for like that cause, and just what leads up to Episode Four, you know, well, they were sacrificing the Death Star. They were sacrificing themselves because they knew that Leia was running from fucking Darth Vader, and, and she knows they knew that like you know she'd get away, she can get away from anybody. Right, but didn't they have to get the plans to the Death Star that's, or something like that's that? That's true. Yeah, they did. They did get them uploaded to R two D two. They all like sacrificed their lives to basically what happened in Episode Four. I want to talk about well, she- shows that should have been canceled sooner. <laughs> all I right, like your opinion, man. Well, go ahead, Shane. Maybe. What do you have for us? <laughs> All right. I got The Nanny. 1993. It lasted six seasons. Why Frank would Rusher? you cancel The Nanny? Fuck that. Nah. Like, how does that keep going? Nah. After LA and Daredevil and Deadwood get canceled. <laughs> how how does Keep You Up With The Kardashians last 20 seasons? Oh, God. And 
people. Like How about The too. Walking Dead? Loved it, but it should have been ended a while ago. I should have canceled like after Negan. Negan season. should have lasted like one to two seasons. You know, like the season Glenn died. And then the season after, they should have wrapped it all up. Why? You know, but they're making offshoots of every, like, there's like three new Walking Dead TV shows. It's like, why, That's why? fine, but they should have It's canceled. not fine. It's yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen them. Well, they're late on that. They, they're they like, you know, Fear, I actually did like Fear the Walking Dead, but that, even that got like, fuck, all right, come on, I'm done with this shit. Like, and yeah, like, it dragged on too far. Yeah. Give me a new I'm new. sorry. Like, like Walking Dead was a great show. I loved it. I was totally enwrapped for like six seasons and now what are they on like 11 12 we'll yeah, do the, f- the first two seasons are fucking epic yeah i loved it it was especially great the, especially sh- the first one they should have just they should have because it gave it. us john Bernthal. oh right. yeah that's right. it did it truly did high pants that's what the high shane. pants he, shane high pants he was always got those, those <laughs> really high, high pants. pants uh also lost i mean that didn't need to go six seasons Can I tell you that I just, I didn't watch it all, but my son watched Lost, and I come home and I catch a few episodes here and there, and fuck, man. I I watched the last, like, three episodes with him, and what a dissatisfying way to end a TV show. Yeah, I never made it to the end. I I watched it, I was intrigued, like, I liked it for the first couple seasons. Yeah, the first couple seasons were good. But then I, I couldn't watch it anymore. After season two... Uh, there was a writer's strike, like an epic writer's strike that went on. And uh, they lost a lot of the writers to the show and shit. And they had a hard time getting back in the story after it re- resumed filming. And I know uh, that affected the overall quality of the Again, show. it's six seasons. They should have went three. I think yeah. I made it f- four or five. I made it to Daniel Fair. Uh, my boy fucking Dickie Bennett from fucking... I don't think I made it that far. At the sweet uh, hat gloves. How about who's the boss? How did that make eight seasons? Uh, oh, fucking one, uh, two words for you. Fucking hold me closer, Tony Danza. Tony Danza. <laughs> That's like and five. probably gonna get some fire for this one, but Big Bang Theory. Oh, yeah, fuck that show. I don't like Please. that show anyway. What's, is that still on? It started in 2012. It has at least 12 seasons, and man. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't think that show deserved to get canceled. Like we probably we didn't like it, but it it was had some good humor and, and some good stuff. I, I like. I know some friends who watched it and stuff, but I'm not saying it's like always sunny in Philadelphia, like workaholics or like that funny. But I don't know. Uh, I don't think it deserves to be canceled. I can't stand opinion. that fucking show. But the I chick Kelly Kuko, I think Kuoko? her name is oh, Kuko. Yeah, Kuoko. She was in the Flight Attendant on HBO. I never She's watched that. She was fantastic in that. It was a good show. I loved it, man. I thought it was great. That got canceled, didn't it? I, mean, I wanted to watch it. <laughs> no, hot, there's, but... there's, there's already demand for like another season, but they're just like, they all want to do other stuff. So I thought know. they already did two seasons. Don't they have two they're on, seasons? They're on season three. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just ended. Um, but... I feel like I'm watching like Friends or something if I watch that show. What, Big Bang Theory? No, the flight attendant. Oh, dude, it's 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 a fucking crazy murder mystery, psychedelic, schizophrenic fucking TV show. It's hey, nothing like your, Friends. You She's put a yourself crazy in the corner. alcoholic. Maybe I'll have to check it out. You won't yeah, watch man. that, and you're not watching Chip and Dale because you don't want to watch a kids movie. You don't want you to fucking ex- expand your horizon. And fucking watch whatever is entertaining. If it's entertaining to you, beautiful man, you got to watch it. Beautiful. All right, folks. Well, that wraps it up for shows that were canceled too soon. And shows maybe that should have been canceled a little sooner. Now stay tuned for some other shit. All right, Greg. Uh, yep. I hear you have a new game you'd like to play with us. With us, with yes. Yeah. You know what? I don't remember if we played it before, but here we go. I call it "One Has to Go Lightning Round." We've done that before, but okay. So I got ten questions. There's two answers, and you can only choose one. And uh, Ryan, you're going to answer first, and Seamus, you're going to answer second, and then we will flip that. Okay, and reverse it. Yep. 
Thank you, because I was just going to do that. <laughs> okay. Question number one. Movies or shows? Ryan. Shows. Shows. Damn, I mean, nowadays, I mean, you asked me 10 years ago, yep. maybe in movies, but. Same. Because you can't, you can't tell a 900-page book in an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah, you need like three fucking three and a half uncut movies, Lord of the Rings style. That's right. What's that, like nine hours? Uh, yeah. Well, three hours a movie, basically. Well, they're more than that. Like the Return of the King uh, fucking extended versions, like almost four hours. <sighs> Woo! Well, I just took a nice I'm into that. Read. That's a lot, though. To sit in a movie theater for though, I would yeah. see. I I've seen it multiple times at home, but I wouldn't fucking watch him in a movie theater. No fucking way. I, mean, I don't. Know I would. De- I would definitely fall was. asleep. Yeah, so yeah, Seamus I mean, would I, definitely I, fall asleep. I, yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I I sit down. I'm I'm falling asleep pretty quick. Yeah, sure. if you wake, yeah. I, I constantly have to rewind movies and find out where I was at the night before. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Greg. Jesus, fuck. So, weed or booze? Seamus. I'm going booze, baby. I'm booze, actually baby. on a off weed. I haven't smoked in a few days. Nice. And uh, I know booze gets me in a lot more trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, they both have their places. Yeah, this is a, it's a horrible... These are horrible questions. These are horrible questions... And unfortunately, I that's mean, why I made the tough, you know, smart tough. me would say weed because, yeah, I definitely get in more trouble drinking than I do weed. But I also yeah. eat a lot and sometimes it gets me depressed smoking weed. So I don't know. Weed's always been old reliable for me. I mean, I do love my beers. Actually, today I bought this thing from uh, Signal Street called. The mystery five pack in a glass for seven bucks. I was pretty so, amped with the choices they gave me. It's a five pack in one. Yeah, you like, get five like different kinds of beers, like micro brew beers, sixteen ounces, and uh, then you get a like a beer glass by whatever brewery. I like that. So it's like a little flight going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now I'm drinking some Arrow Knot Milk Stout and uh exhibit a market gas so India are they from the Ale. same brewery or is it like the no it's all different breweries guy. dude it's a it's a beer like specialty store and cheap cigarettes so they just throw like five different micro brews in a bag like with that. a glass for I seven like bucks i'm always trying new things my problem is i i'm always picking up six packs and shit of new shit and most of the time i don't like them so it sucks sure sure so you're going with right. weed on that ryan yeah, I'm going with weed on that, Greg. Old reliable. All right. I am going with neither. I am a straight edge. <laughs> okay. Cars or trucks? I mean, I wish I had a truck. I mean... Well, you got to think of the gas prices. I'm going with truck, <laughs> except for the gas prices, but still, truck is more... I can... I use, Like I said, I throw my paddleboard in the back. I don't need... Yeah, uh-huh. well, I've gotten stuck in my own driveway like a half a dozen times this year in my fucking yeah. Toyota Corolla. Winter time, I mean, we don't that's my Corolla. We don't have as many snowstorms as we used to. Global warming, I don't know if it exists or not, but um, we don't have as we don't get as much snow as we used to. With storms, I mean, we get some big killer ones, like a few of them, but and really, you should be staying home regardless. But the truck can get me. More places than a car, a sedan can. So absolutely, and yeah, it would be so convenient run. for dump runs and shit. Right, and okay. which I got to make a dump run. They're not open this Saturday, but next Saturday. I All right, well, about speed. I'm going truck too because you know, in case that global heating comes in. I mean, it does it. suck now that gas is five dollars a gallon. Yeah, that's not any diesel. Even even my and car, how you my car with diesel trucks are making by now. It's be twenty five to fill my car, dude. The gas pump cut me off at a hundred bucks the other day. When I was trying shit. to fill my truck. That's too much, folks. That's All right, go ahead, Greg. What do you got next? Okay, so cash or card? Who the fuck has cash anymore? Yeah, right. 
uh, convenience card, man. <laughs> card. Although, you know, card can get you into trouble if you don't have an honest bartender. <laughs> um, and what if you just don't go stuff. to the bar? I heard this thing, um, uh, cash is king. It cash was just king, king right? but you try and go to a car dealership now and tell them how much cash. They'll be like, well, we actually don't like cash. We'll be like, go fuck yourself. And like, then... uh, we like interest. <laughs> well, all I have is cash. Fuck. So you guys are both going card? Yeah. Card, man. In fact, okay. you don't even need a card. Apple Pay. <laughs> well, that's not an option. <laughs> um, okay. A bicycle or a skateboard? No. Oh. God, I gave, a, I'm not I gave a lot of my body away years old anymore. Yeah, yeah, is this like all-time personal favorite choice or Shit like hurts. now choice? I, I'm too old to skateboard. Yeah, I wouldn't skateboard now. I'd fucking, I already blew my leg out once skateboard. At least my snowboard, I'm landing on snow and not asphalt. Do you mean the Connecticut-based Jamaican rapper snow? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Music or stand-up? Music, Music, sure, man. Music is part yeah. of my life every day. I don't listen to stand up every day. As soon as I get up in the morning, it's either news or music, and I should stick away, stay away from the news because it's just depressing. It Ooh. is. Speaking of that, cable, streaming, you know, shows, all that stuff, or games. Bullshit question. You can't make it three. All right. Well. My laziness says shows because then I just don't have to do anything. Same. I'd have to go streaming too, bro. Wow. Okay. I mean, wow. I'm, I'm going video. I'm we video know you game. are, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to. But does it's not? this isn't up to me. Okay. I think you'll get this, Seamus. When I'm talking about party sports, I'm talking about like fucking horseshoes, you know, beer pong, fucking... Uh, cornhole. Yeah, cornhole, all that jazz. So, regular sports or party sports? We got all the time and place, man. It's a tough question. Well, well yeah. It's not for me. Um, I'm not watching live sports as much as I used to. I'm probably not doing party sports as much as I used to either. But. And if he's on Pornhub, um, it's always water sports. I'm into water sports. I'm going water sports because I've gone paddle boarding. Oh, uh, no, no. Water sports when you get water sports on Pornhub would be when you get peed on, Seamus. So. I understood that. Okay, I well, that's just moving choice, above right? that beyond that. We don't, we're not that kind of podcast. You have to pay me to pee on me. <laughs> okay. Air condition or fan? <laughs> Air conditioned. <laughs> Seriously. That's, but yeah, that's all right. But yeah, what? Nothing. <laughs> Give me a free bottle. <laughs> no, but you're fucking. You ta- you're taking up more energy. It's oh, it's. God. I don't know. It's, it's just. I don't know. You're blowing the air around with a fan. You're blowing the just... hot air around with a fan. You dub. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I want to blow the hottest towards me. But what are you gonna do in the winter time? What do you mean? I need a fan to sleep. Okay, great. I, I just use a sheet. I have sleep sounds, man. Alexa, give me rain on a tin roof. <laughs> I need to sleep. Oh, so that would be check out the t- rain, rain on a tin rain roof, man. Is someone raining under my roof, and is it tin? Any of my listeners out there, you have Alexa, ask for rain on the tin roof, and you thank you. You probably just activated it for him. <laughs> All right, the last question. Then I have a funny little thing I'm going to read after. Console or PC? Console. For gaming? Console nowadays, but PC is integral to my life, so. Okay. All right. Well. On PC. You guys are both watching the new show, Willow. You know, uh, Seamus is drinking some booze. Ryan's drinking some weed. You know, you decide to go for a drive in your trucks and use your credit card to buy a bike. And then you go see your favorite band, Hoobastank. And then you go home and stream your favorite show, X-Men, while you guys play cornhole with each other in the AC. And then you play video games. Sounds like a good night. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You did that. 
<laughs> we did that through the power yeah. of technology. I wish yeah. I, I wish technology. If only I had that much time in a day. <laughs> okay, last one. I can't even get time, through an hour and a half movie. Time or no time? Time after time. If you catch me up, I'll be right there. <laughs> um, I'd rather have time. Yeah, I was joking. Of course. Goes really? great I with, have no time. Goes great with Rosemary. All right, folks. Well, that wraps up our segment on fucking pick one or something. Now stay tuned for some other shit. Oh. Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? All right, folks, welcome back. And this is Would You Rather. All right. Seamus, would you have would you rather have every episode ruined by spoilers or no never know how your favorite show ends? Uh I guess I'm going with the spoilers. Okay. I mean shit's been spoiled before, but I forget it after like a couple days anyways, so then when I go back to watch it like weeks later I don't remember what's about to happen anyways. All right, great. Great. Greg, same question. They, they used to call me Greg the Spoiler, okay? <laughs> I used to spoil shit all the time. Not on purpose. Sometimes I would spoil things just by like looking up actors, and they're like, oh, he's only in three episodes. Oh, so. you remember how I had <laughs> oh. to stop you from spoiling earlier in the episodes, so yeah. Yeah. Greg the I wanna Spoiler. Spo- I want to spoil that part right now. Fucking, ugh, it's hilarious. <laughs> but. All right, Greg. Would you rather live in Full House, or would you rather live in the house from Step by Step? Oh, we got you got Carl Dana. Win- you got the Carl Winslow was going to keep you safe. No, or? no, no. Carl Winslow is Family Matters. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Step by Step? That's fucking. Oh, okay. It, oh, dude, that's got the fucking guy. That, who's their friend there with a mullet? Joey Jesse Kablapopoulos. No, it's like his name's like Michael, I think. Oh no, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of the Keatons, <laughs> that guy with the mullet from the Keatons. Because <laughs> if I was living with him, I would totally be cool. Mike with that. Seaver, played by Kurt Cameron, I think you're referring to. No, fuck that dude. Oh, no. all right, what the fuck? Step yeah. by step. I'm going to live with DJ Tanner. Yeah, I'm going full house. <laughs> I want to live with fucking Bob Saget. All right, Seamus, cut. That out. <laughs> what <are> you <laughs> nice. Uh, Seamus, would you rather live with Roger from American Dad or Elf? <sighs> Can we all just live together else? in my in my twenties as bachelors? <laughs> no, you got to pick one, Seamus. <sighs> all right, Gordon Shumway from Melmac or Roger from American Dad. Oh. I'm a little, I mean, they're both aliens, so they're both going to tell me shit I don't know. I'm going with Alf, man. Greg? Roger, Roger. Roger seems like a partier, for sure. Yeah, I'm going with Roger. He smokes weed. Yeah, yeah but, absolutely. Yeah, but who did he live with? If Alf lived with me, man, could you imagine Alf partying with me, dude? <laughs> Alf plays multiple instruments, so I, I forgot about that. You're the one out of this world. Sweet Alf, baby. I'll be slaying it if he was yeah. loving me, man. That's keys, bass, guitar. Be a great wing, man. Yes. Yeah, I'm still going rugged. And I have a cat as well, and I love my cat, so stay off Elf. Ooh. Yeah, you eat it. Yeah, but did he ever eat Willie's cat? No, of course not. Right. That would have been like this week in a very special episode of Elf. Elf! So he clearly had restraint. All right, this one's kind of out of left field. Anyway. Uh, Greg, would you rather be trapped in a freezer or stuck on a ledge? Tough. Um, uh, where is this ledge? <laughs> like, what, I'm Obviously, I... it's way the fuck high up. Greg. Over great white sharks. It's like a three-foot ledge. No. Hungry great ledge. Like Hundreds of stories up, Greg. So I'm, I'm going to more than break my ankle. Oh, you'll die for sure. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll be in the freezer. All right, all right. Um, I I hate heights, but I'm going to ledge, man. I hate being cold more than fucking 
Ah. I do too, but I, I'm so fucking scared. Of oh, I can imagine like you sit down or whatever, and your hand just starts sticking to everything. Nah, man, I hate being. I'm <laughs> fucking. I feel like I'm always cold these days. I would just go to sleep. I would fucking like put yeah, just go to sleep, and then you never wake up. Okay, right. but you have like <laughs> six hours of misery before you get to go to sleep. Where, no, you just go right to Where sleep. I can just jump off the ledge and end it. Yeah, that's true. Like, I mean, yeah, what's this? I mean, is there any, like, can we save ourselves? No? Well, you don't know. That's the mystery. Yeah, yeah Greg. I can't reveal everything. Yeah. Think no, spoilers. no spoilers. No spoilers. Spoiler, game. Greg. All right, I'm going back. I'm going on the ledge. I'm going on the ledge on this one. Well, all I'm right. pushing you off. No, I'm going to eat you, actually. There's fucking pigeons all over this ledge, by the it's way. It's okay. I can fly. I'm a wizard. Are you I'm Mark? Back. Are you Mark McGrath? Higher, 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 higher. All right, would you rather be caught by Dexter or Hannibal? Greg. Dexter, Dexter for sure. I don't fit the code. Yeah, I could reason with him. <laughs> at least, maybe. Maybe at least reason with him. All right, guys, you don't have a, Dexter's already decided you need to die. No, he, no, I don't fit the code. Man. He's made a mistake before. He's cut people loose. Hannibal, I've totally fit in his code. Because he has yeah. skin. And brains. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dexter let that girl go, too. Like, you could be like, yo, Dexter, I will suck your dick. Let me go, please. And you might be like, you know what? It's 2022. I'm in like, that. Dexter, go. I know where Harrison is. <laughs> He's going to be in the last season of your show, and it's going to end terribly. But no Again. spoilers. I won't tell him what happens. No, nah, I wouldn't either. But you're not going to like it, Dexter. <laughs> I don't know, because either way, if I fit the code and Dexter wants to kill me, at least he's giving me a quick thrust to the heart. Like, it's I'm true. Not it's pretty quick. quick. That, is, that is true. Well, he's going to slice your cheek. That hurts a little bit. Yeah, he's going to get Ooh, your please. DNA, and he's going to saran wrap you to the table. That would be <laughs> hot. I'd be so sorry. Like, Dexter, <laughs> you have any lube? But Dexter, <laughs> what did I do, man? I didn't do anything, man. I know I know you. I watched your show. No, you would have Polaroids and shit up of you. Yeah. Like 1972, Glendale, New York. But I, wasn't even I, have a good, I have a perfectly good explanation for that, Dexter. <laughs> Can you explain? Connecticut, New Haven, 1991, 3 p.m., Melissa Douglas's house. Man, I can't even remember last Friday. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking that quick thrust to the heart. All right, man. Sure enough, sure enough. All yeah, right. Hannibal's going to eat your brains and shit, dude. Dude, look what he did to Ray Liotta. I mean, he didn't yeah. feel the pain. But uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. The Hannibal no, TV show is awesome, by the way, guys. Yeah, you ever Hannibal. want to watch a good that show? That got canceled uh, pretty quick, too, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. What's the guy's name again? Mads Mikkelsen. That guy's a fucking man. Yeah, he is cool. Rogue All right. One. <laughs> All right, last question, boys. Seamus, G.I. Joe or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? <sighs> That might be the toughest question of the night. <laughs> All right. If we're going toys, G.I. Joe's bar none, man. The articulation and uh, best toy that was ever made for a little boy. Mm, or absolutely. a man. I might still have some. I don't. <laughs> I went through the destructive phase. I burned and blew them all up. Melted them. Um, turtles toys were cool, too. But they didn't have that kung fu grip, man. Yeah, turtles were durable as fuck, though, man. They you gotta were, give them that. They were, but you could also piece together GI Joes. You could mix and match, and you could do some fucking okay. weird science shit on them. Yeah, those little weird rubber band hooks and shit. Yeah, you could put them together with different bodies and body parts and mix and match. <laughs> um, what about, what about uh, the show? Show, man. I'm going. I'm going TMNT. And you know my favorite movie is TMNT Two: Secret of the Ooze. So. Uh. Ninja, ninja. Go, ninja, what? go, ninja, go. Tokon Razor. What's yeah, that? That's right. All right. Well, it doesn't really clear anything up. <laughs> so, G.I. Joe the toy, TMNT the show. Yeah, there you go. Gotcha. Greg? Go ahead. Oh, those are complicated answers. Matrix shit. Uh, I'm going Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, it's a tough decision. They're both awesome. Um, but, you know. 
I'm going by but, like comic comic books and, and, and shows. The cartoon was dope did, as hell. Did you ever cry during an episode of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah. When I thought Splinter died. Oh, well, that was just akin to when Duke died. Yeah. Yeah, but Duke didn't come back. Mm. I didn't. I don't think I cried then either. Way to end it on a down note, guys. Yeah, I mean, when we were younger, you were probably like fucking seven years old crying. You think you'd cry if Duke died now? You'd be like, ha, Duke, you piece of shit. Yeah, I mean, Duke was like one of my least favorite characters. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Fuck Duke. Fuck Duke was just generic. Yeah. So yeah. generic. Well, you know what? G.I. Joe had the best villains, though. I mean, you got Destro, you got fucking Storm Shadow, you got fucking oh, Cobra, Serpentor. Serpentor, yeah. He yeah they, Duke. I mean, they all had... <laughs> That was his introduction, man. <laughs> I don't remember that shit, dude. That's... They all have great characters and great villains, though, as well, too. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, there was a ton of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Up. Back to the <laughs> Back to the <laughs> Yeah, crap. Get those turtles. <laughs> nice. That would hurt me. I wouldn't be able to fucking perform for two weeks. Yeah, fucking... All that shit, dude. Baxter Stockman, fucking. Oh, I, I love Bebop, I love Bebop and Rocksteady. Bebop, Bebop and Rocksteady. Fuck uh, me, I would Casey Jones is fucking dope as shit. Shredder. Oh, man, they both have great characters. It's true. Mega Shredder, <laughs> super, super Mega Shredder. <laughs> uh, Donatello with pizza slicing action. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, <sighs> bunga, dude. Absolutely. Oh, there was also Detective Don, and he had the Grucho Marx mask and hat fedora that came off and on his face. That was pretty dope. It was his uh, fucking disguise. He was a dope toy. He had a trench coat on. April O'Neil? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Just saying. She was a character on the show as well. All right, and, folks. Well, that's going to wrap up another episode of You Gonna Eat That Crust podcast. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for listening and supporting the show. We appreciate the fuck out of all of you. Um, so stay tuned. You know, keep coming back, everybody. Yeah, thanks and let for us listening. know. Let us know any shows that you want to add to the list. That you felt sorry that we're gone, or or you felt that should have never happened. Maybe there's some on our list. Yeah, you can. Uh... Email us with those answers right there if you find any shows that should be canceled or that were canceled and you missed. And follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Follow Ryan on Twitter. We're on Spotify, Apple Music. We're back on YouTube. All caught up, right, Ryan? Yes, sir. All right. And uh, you can support us on Anchor for our Patreon if you would like. Thanks for listening. Thank you for listening. Thanks, all. And since we're a podcast, we can never be canceled because we'll just keep putting out episodes regardless if we get canceled or not. I mean, but I'd like to leave everybody with one, one last thing. In crust, trust, we trust. We trust. trust. That's fucked up. <laughs> All right, guys. This ends our podcast. It's like, it's like hooking up with a bass player. Get rock bottom at that point. I saw a bitch! Cut! Cut!